Find the standard equation of the circle with the given radius r and center c. Then graph the circle with calculator methods. All right, so let's talk about the general formula and the standard formula for a circle. Uh, first, uh, the circle is, of course, a set of all points, a given distance r, called the radius, from a point c, called the center. So, in other words, if this is the center at 4, 2 right here, 4, 2, then every point on the circle is a radius 3 away from that center. And that's what makes the circle uh, look the way it does. So, because of that, for x, y to be a point on the circle, so for this point, x, y to be on the circle, it has to be a distance three away from the center. So for x, y to be a point in the circle, the distance from x, y to the center h, k must be r. This is the distance formula right here. That's the distance between x, y, and h, k. Just a distance formula. And so that has to turn out to be equal r, because r is that distance every time. So all we have to do is square both sides, and we get the standard form of the equation of a circle. Uh, the general form of an equation of a circle is this one. So there's only two forms, you know, the general and the standard. So if we have a problem where they give us the center and the radius and tell us to find the standard form, then all we have to do is take the standard form template and plug in the HK, which is 4, 2, so 4, 2, and put in the radius, which is 3. And there we have it. Then all we have to do is square the 3 out and get the 9. And that's your standard form. If they ask for general form, you would start with the standard and just square these terms out and Z equal 9, you know, and then um, clean it up to here, subtract 9 from both sides, and you'd have this. So that would be the general form. And in another video, we're going to learn how to go from the general back to the standard, because that involves completing the square. Now, on the calculator, let's verify out that this is really um, the circle we want. It looks like it is. It's 4, 2, radius 3. So, they, you know, every direction is 3. All these. Okay, so uh, graphing the circle, you have to solve for y because that's what the calculator accepts. So you have to do this. You have to start with the general. You have to subtract x minus 4 squared from both sides. So now you're here. Then you have to take this plus or minus square root of both sides. So now you're here and you got this. Then you have to add the 2 over so you get this. Then you just put each one of those into the calculator. This one and this one. Then you just graph and you might see some funny gaps there. That's because the resolution of the pixels is not quite fine enough to close it off as you get to this very vertical moment right here on the sides. But that's okay, don't worry about that. You know, there's other ways to graph a circle that you'll learn about later in math. Anyway, so uh, is this the right one? Well, it has 4, 2 as a center, and it looks like it goes up 3 to the 4, 5, and down to the 4, negative 1. So yeah, this is the right circle, the same circle as this one up here.